Okay, hi Natalia. We're here at the UBC track for a workout today. What's the plan? So plan today is three o'clock start. So I have a teammate of mine, uh, Julia Howley, joining me today. Typically we work out at 5 p.m. Um, but around that time the track is a, a zoo with all the teams. So Julia and I have flexible schedule, able to push it earlier. So workout on, yeah, plan for today is a five minute study in our warm up and then we'll hop on the track for, I think it's two sets of 1K, 800, 600, uh, and then we will hop over to a hill um, on the road and have six 200 meter hill repeats. So I kind of call this the three course workout that CJ um, plays. He kind of brings different components, so it's really just a, a fun workout. Yeah, so this is a standard CJ workout, I guess. Um, yes. What's the rationale behind doing track workout track stuff first and then going to the hills because it's a bit of a unique uh, dynamic that CJ has with some of his workouts. Yeah, definitely. It's something we typically, well, we did it last season too, um, kind of the combination at the beginning of the season. I think it's to keep the variation so mentally it's fun and then also bringing the hills in to work on that speed and strength uh, to just build um, going into the track season. So eventually we'll phase out of the hills and focus more on the track. Good. Uh, so you, you're you coming off a bit of a, an indoor campaign. Can you uh, say how that went and what your thoughts are about how you how it was? Yeah, of course. So I haven't done too much indoor. Um, it was fun to hop on the track. I did a 5K at the Lilac Grand Prix in Spokane. Um, so I ran 15.27, um, finished second there. And it was good just to get a hard effort. Nothing we were peaking for or anything. Um, but I would say, yeah, 25 laps on an indoor track, not my favorite thing, but happy to have done and just makes me excited to continue training and be excited for the outdoor season. Yeah, and you're building off of obviously an incredibly successful summer season where uh, you, you qualify for the Olympics. Uh, can you talk about uh, what that was like and, and what kind of contributed to some of the breakthrough performances that you had last year? No, yeah, well, thank you. And it was a very yeah fun and exciting summer. Uh, breakthrough, I think a lot of it happened during COVID um, and before that when I stepped away from like full-time work just was able to prioritize um, recovery get a better balance and also um, just be injury free so it's been just I think consecutive training um, healthy and working really well with CJ um, to not not overdo it and just things have come together and we saw that in the performances the past kind of two years. Yeah, so looking forward then, uh, we have the upcoming outdoor track season. What's what's the focus and what's the plan going forward? Yeah, the question is always, do we do 15 or 5K? Um, I've enjoyed racing both of them. Uh, plan for this year is to I'll open up my season after um, training camp in Flagstaff, so end of April. Um, I'll run a 15 5k see how that goes and then just be excited to see what direction I decide to choose but with the goal being of making that um, world team in Eugene good summer. nice um, so I guess we'll let you get going on your workout and uh, we'll see how it goes awesome sounds good thank you All right, CJ, we're back at the UBC track for the second day in a row for a workout. Right. And what's the plan today? Uh, Julia and Natalia are going to do two sets of 1,800, 600. It'll take 90 seconds between the uh, K and the 8 and the 8 and the 6. Then a three-minute set break. Then we're going to head over to Stadium Road to do six 200-meter hills. Uh, during their warm-up, they'll do a five-minute tempo just to, just to end off the warm-up run. So, yeah, it works out to 6K of volume um, in the workout. And, it's good 5K prep for Natalia and steeple prep for, for Julia. Nice, and this is a standard workout, uh, not necessarily this type, of, but this type of workout you go to often uh, in the training blocks? A similar style, I mean, we're kind of, for Natalia, getting up to running repeat miles at uh, 5K pace. Today we're doing K86, but uh, you know, it's only early March, so by, by mid-April, late April, we'll be looking to 
know, extend up to 1600 meters because she'll do her first 5K at uh, the track meet in California. It's called the track meet, and and uh, yeah, I think that's May 7th. So we got uh, we got two months to just gradually build. Um, so this is just sort of a stepping stone along the way. And the training for Julia, given she's a steeplechaser, and we'll also run a 5,000 or two this season, uh, is actually quite similar. And over time, we'll we'll, we'll change the uh, the workout so she'll do maybe the 800s over hurdles, and uh, we'll get rid of the hills and finish with some 200s over hurdles type of thing. But uh, yeah, pretty standard session really. Just yeah. nice. Uh, so Natalia and, and Julia had uh, successful track seasons last year. Yeah. Uh, can you speak about uh, what kind of contributed to Natalia's breakthrough specifically? Yeah, Natalia's breakthrough really, really started taking place in 2020, the, the first year of COVID. She, she just managed to stay healthy that entire year and ran some, some excellent time trials that nobody really knew about because they were not done in official track meets. But uh, yeah, the big key for her is she, she hasn't had any injuries the last couple of years in her first three or four years running with me at, at UBC she had a lot of injuries and just wasn't able to string together consistent training week in week out and uh, you know, we, we knew the talent was there but we just had to figure out a way to to gain consistency and, and, and she's she's done that and you can see the results last year she got all the way down to 1505 and 404 made the Olympics so uh, yeah it was exciting for sure yeah and then Natalia had a bit of an abbreviated uh, indoor campaign this year. She ran a 5K indoors. Can you uh, speak to the rationale behind that decision? Yeah, we, we, well, first of all, she uh, we found out about a meet. She found out about a meet in Spokane, and that's where she did about three or four months of training prior to the Olympics. That's where her fiance's uh, family live. And because we didn't want her going back and forth from uh, the US to Canada after each meet because of the 14-day quarantine, she just stayed there. So. It's kind of like a second home, so they have a brand new, pretty awesome facility there. We thought it would be a great place to run an indoor 5K. We wanted to see how close she could get to the uh, world standard of 1510, um, knowing that we didn't do a ton of specific prep for it. Um, she ended up going 1527, um, first ever indoor 5K on a 200 track, so no, honestly, pretty happy with it. Good. All right, and then looking forward, I guess the, the goal will, will be for the World Championships team uh, later this summer. Oh, definitely. Yeah, the goal would be to make the the uh, worlds in the 15 and the five or the five. But the, the the main event will be the 15, and the secondary event would be the 5K. So we'll just see how uh, her first few races go, and you know, figure it out from there. I think uh, the Commonwealth Games is also on the on the radar. Good. All right. Well, we'll see how this workout goes, and uh, thanks for having us again. Well, thank you. All right, Natalia, what's the gear of choice for today's workout? Yeah, so well, I warmed up in my Ghost, which is my favorite shoe for easy runs, tra easy trail running. And that, today I'm going to be wearing the Hyperion Tempo, which is a nice flat for kind of roads and, um, yeah, longer kind of not as intense track workouts as well. So that's what I'll be switching into now. Nice. So Brooks has been uh, a good partner for you in your training for the last couple of years? Yeah, they have, but I actually um, worked for Brooks um, when I graduated from university. Um, was an ambassador and then, I guess two years ago now, um, got sponsored by them. So they've definitely been supporting me and super grateful for them. Love their stuff. Good. And do you have any other uh, support uh, companies or, or people that help you out with uh, your training, I guess? I do. I guess I, have, I got Noon. Team Noon for hydration. Um, which I love as well. So those are my two main um, sponsors. And then my club, Vancouver Thunderbirds, are also very um, supportive as well here in Vancouver. Um, and then I'm lucky to be part of, I work for Streamline Athletes as well. Um, and they've just been super supportive, kind of supporting um, athletes working among their staff. Um, so very grateful for them as well. Yeah, great. All right, looking forward to this workout. It's colder than I expected. Oh, uh, you'll warm up soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens? All right, 1K. 1K at 305, 1K at 312. Then 200 jog. 200 jog, but yeah, we'll go in 90 seconds, so. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Let's Here do it. Here we go. Yeah. 305 
All right, Natalia, we're one set down. How do you feel? Ah, uh, pretty good, but it's a little windy. Yeah. But we're actually lucky that the track is nice and dry because often Vancouver, you know, we got the mild temperature, but it's usually pretty slick. So, especially the fact I'm wearing flats today, it's all good. And good. now, yeah, have a little bit longer break here, three minutes, and then do it again. Good, all right. Down to the hills. Good episode. I know, right? All right, same thing again. I'll start a road running revolution. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Yep. All right, Natalia, done the track part of the session. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. It was a little windy out there, but I think the windy days just force you to focus on effort rather than times, especially the splits, just how different they are each 200. Um, but it was good, get the legs moving a little bit faster. And now, yeah, excited to go to the hills. Nice. CJ always makes it, you can't work too hard on the track because you'll, then you'll be dead for the hills, so. There you go. It's a good way of doing it. It prevents us from kind of overreaching in workout. And yeah, just focus on kind of form on the hills and again, that effort. Good. Yeah. All right. Fours. Yeah. Four, four, four times three. Yeah. Yeah. So all good, except the last four was also a little windy. Yeah. And I realized I took like the more windier section yeah. in the workout <laughs> um, as well, but yeah. oh my God, I'm gonna take a four off. This is our stadium hill beside the football. And fun fact, this is where they filmed She's the Man with the Man of Bind. I did not know that. That is a fun no. fact. I didn't know that either. Nor have I seen that show. Uh, would it's recommend. Oh, there. Okay, it's what do I know? Terrific. <laughs> All right, six All right. Let's go. early 2000s. <laughs>
number three. There we go. Hi, we just finished the workout. How do you feel? Oh, I feel pretty good. Uh, it was a fun one out today, and it was great to have Julia out and actually doing the daylight because usually Wednesdays we're in the dark. So that was, yeah, it was great. So how long until you ship off to Flagstaff then? Oh yeah, so I guess we're March 9th, so I'll go to Flagstaff April 3rd. Um, but before then, I'm actually gonna go up to Silver Star, um, visit the fam, but that's at altitude, so we'll be at my mini week altitude camp, in a sense. Yeah, so CJ was saying this is your first time out at like a significant altitude camp, uh, camp like Flagstaff. Uh, mm -hmm. How are you preparing uh, for training uh, going up to such a high altitude? Yeah, I'm definitely listening to everybody's advice with open ears. Um, recently, I actually got my blood tested just to make sure that iron stores are, are at a good place because that's key going to altitude, just making sure you're keeping that up. And I'm going to be especially mindful of just taking it easy the first few days. Nice. It's my body. And uh, so you're on Strava, so people can follow along your training off of Flagstaff <laughs> and the rest yeah. of the season. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to seeing what kind of results you can throw down and uh, good luck with your training. Thanks so much, Will. I'm like, look, I have like the sheet of like standards up. <laughs> 